this one here. You remember we've got two in the form there. This we call, um, uh, if you're punching, we call Clayton's Gap. It looks like, just slow it down, it looks like to all of you that there's a gap for his lead hand, but in fact it misses. So why is that? I'm occupied the quarter position. If he punches really slowly, you will just graze me. The harder he punches, the more it deflects. And I'm bringing arms in from the sides to make sure that that happens. So there's that happening there. One. And from there, I can collapse the shoulder and take him down. Why is the second one different? There are three of these. If you just count all the times you just uh, go through that ending movement. Uh, but there are three of these in the form. The second one happens at the end of this, and it's up the midline. It's no longer in there. And that's because it's a different application. If he's grabbing, say just a hand on the shoulder, because it would be something else. It would be a you know, collar tie or something. If I go from the outside in, I've really got nothing. There's not nothing much you can do. But notice if I just go up the quarter line of the body, how that's weakened. All I have to do is go up. So that's this part. And you notice I'm also going to be pulling my weight back. This is the part that's really interesting. It doesn't have to go weight back, it's just weight up, just weight back. One, two. As he does this. Watch again. One, two, three, time. Punch with the other hand. Once again, there, break it, keep in contact. I use my hips. Notice I use my hips. Yeah? Hand so that this knuckle is behind his elbow. I press and in. And that's the push back. One, two, three. That's the pushing. One, two. Okay. And this is a good chinna lock. We'll try that a couple of times. This is his arm. That already weakens it. He doesn't need to break out at that point. The critical part is here. Now he's going to use his hips to go one, two. That's broken it. His hand is already ready here. It's caught him in a, in a grab. You can do a handshake grip as Roy can do now. It's the same, or I like to do over the whole top, which you did before naturally, and just grab that way, yeah? Mm -hmm. And that way he just has got less control. Roy's got this index knuckle behind, he's locked it up and pushed it that way. That locks everything into one, boom, one line. And then it stops, the other, it breaks the other one uh, because the other arm that you push in, please, Roy. It just kind of cuts it. Yeah. All right. So it's, it's a nice lock. It's hard to get, but these are, this is why the internal arts are, are, are advanced. These are, are high skill level. And you shouldn't be trying that as self-defense. I'm just showing you really how, how involved it is. But here's the beauty of it. You could have somebody doing a, a nasty handshake, you know, where they grip your hands super tight. Yes. Okay. And the beauty is that if you do the whole body movement, at that hip turn, you can get that. So it can be from a number of situations. And I had people try and, and grab and crush my hand before. I've never done this to them, but I'd be tempted to, because <laughs> that would sure, sure confuse me. People do this quite often. 